We have reached a stage where we've covered the basics and we're ready to start delving deeper into PHP. And indeed, we'll start tackling some of the challenges that are coming up in the next sections. Now, before we go any further, I just want to mention about being organized and keeping your files in order. The more organized you are, I think the more successful you will be. And it's good to build those good habits from day one. Now, I'm not going to tell you how to organize your files. Everybody's thought processes are totally different. Everybody is unique and everyone has their own way of managing their files and folders. I would point out that you can follow along with me if you wish, but bear in mind that I am continually adding new sections to the course, new challenges, new files, updating things. So my folder structure will continually evolve over time and it might not be such a good idea to follow on exactly with what I'm doing. Having said that, you know, feel free to follow along if you wish. Personally, I think it's best if you arrange your files the way you want to have them arranged. Okay, well, having said that, let's have a look at what we've got so far. We have three files here, Echo, Hello World and Variables, and they're all to do with that first section. So what I could do, I could have a folder called Chapter 1 or Section 1. I could call it PHP Basics. It is totally up to you. Before you start going running off and creating folders and naming things, I just want to point out one or two things. The first thing is in the web world, we don't use spaces. And in fact, I'm just looking at these three files here and I've got Hello World using Camel Case. Typically, we don't see that. So I'm going to rename this one. So rename it and I'm going to call it Hello Dash World. And that is something that is more common in the web world. When you look at the URLs at the top of your browser, if any, for any page you visit, you will see something like that. So similarly, when you are creating your folders, you want to follow a similar pattern. So I might create a folder here called PHP Basics. I'll click in here. I will call this PHP dash basics. And then I'm going to drag these three files. So I held down my shift key and I clicked on the top, held down my shift, clicked on the bottom. And I'm just going to click and drag those into PHP basics and drop them in there. And if you notice, they are now indented and those three are in PHP basics and I can open and close that. So that's starting to organize things a, a little bit. Now, bear in mind, if you want to view any of those files, let's go across to the browser. Now, if I was to refresh this, hopefully you realize that I'm going to get an error. It can't find that echo.php because it now exists in a folder. So this URL is now incorrect. So I'm just going to remove echo.php and I go press enter. And now we can see an index of my main directory. That's the folder we've just created. I can click in there and now I can see these three files and I can click on echo.php. And if you have a look at the URL, just bear that in mind. So this is what you need to get used to in terms of navigation. Now, I just want to point out something else. I did say earlier, don't go running off and creating names of your own. Because one of the things that I've noticed with some students, they like to use spaces. So if in PHP basics here, if I rename this, to PHP and I put a space basics. I'll go back to my browser. And again, I'll just go back to that root directory there. And there is PHP basics. Now when I click on this, watch what happens. Look at the URL. I get a percent and 20. You don't want that in your URL. You want to avoid that at all costs. So do not put spaces in your names of your folders or the names of your files. So just to finish off, as I said, it is totally up to you how you organize your files, but I would say, please be organized. Please name them something that is meaningful to you. And then as you progress through the course, when you want to refer back, let's say we're doing one of the challenges towards the latter end of the course, maybe section 10, and you want to have a look at some of the functions, you can go back through your folders and make reference to the files and the lessons that we covered earlier in the course. If you found this video useful, then remember to give me a quick thumbs up. And if you would like to be notified when I release new videos, then hit that subscribe button 
and remember to click on the little notification bell.